Foundations of Statistics, Andre Rosedale, Aspen University, RSH914, Techniques and Interpretation for Statistical Analysis and Education, Dr. Lisa Reason, March 28th, 2022. For this exercise, 30 Rose City Police Department officers were tested during their recertification of a standard police cruiser mounted radar supplied by Stalker Applied Concepts Incorporated. At the end of the two hour radar refresher course, the 30 officers in attendance took a 20 question multiple choice test on the setup, testing, use, and operator level maintenance of their assigned radar units. Each question is worth five points for the total perfect score of 100% and any score below 70% is considered a failed attempt. The sample for this testing is a random draw from the 84 sworn officers assigned to the radar recertification training schedule for March 23rd, 2022. Through the testing, the Rose City Police Department Training Division can learn the sample population's central tendency of the scores. The central tendency is, is the statistical measure that identifies a single value as representative of the entire distribution of scores. The three measures of the central tendency are the mode, median, and the mean. The central tendency of this process was 85% as eight officers received this score and the score centered around this percentage of the correct answers. The mode is the highest number of occurrences of the same score and in order to have a mode, the score must occur at least twice. In the Rose City Department, Police Department radar recertification test, the mode is again found to be 85% where eight officers out of 30 scored this grade. The next most common scores were both equal at six officers each for the scores of 70% and 90%. The median is the middle point of a distribution. The median exists at the point where 50% of the scores are above the median point and 50% of the scores are below the median point of the scores. The median does not actually have to be an actual score within the distribution. For this scenario, the scores on the radar recertification test are multiples of five and the median matches the mode at 85%. The mean is obtained by adding all of the scores in the distribution and then dividing the sum by the number of scores. While the mean and an average are similar, the mean is, spe is specifically a method used to describe the average of a sample. For this scenario, the Rose City Police Officer sample scores have a mean of 85%. The short 20 question test, each worth five points, kept the mode, median, and mean simple and cleaned the calculator. The use of a normal curve or bell-shaped distribution is used to understand standardized scores. The top of the bell curve shows the mean, median, and the mode of the distribution data collected. The standard deviation, or the mean of the deviation scores, portrays the bell curve's relative width around the mean. Understanding scores is important in understanding how officers are learning, retaining, and performing when using equipment like the Stalker Radar in comparison to their colleagues. This bell curve graph shows the peak of the curve, the average score of the sample officer's tests. The rise on the left of the peak shows the low average scores of the sample, while the negative slope shows the high average of the sample officer's test scores. While the test was not created for any test taker to score above 100%, the test can be scored below a passing percentage of 70%. Any score below the 70% is not graded beyond identifying it as a failed attempt. The sample population of the 30 officers in a department with an authorized force of 84 officers is a large sample population at over 35%
of the sworn personnel at the Rose City Police Department. While the findings show that none of the officers in the sample population failed the radar recertification test, the data findings from the sample population can be helpful in developing options to support test growth during this next fiscal year. First, these scores demonstrate the criteria and reference elements of the standardized radar recertification test. The scores that the officers received were based on their mastery of the material on this test, which comes from initial training, experience with the use of radar systems, and the yearly recertification classes. An officer who scored an 85% on the test got 17 questions correct, and this shows the officer did not do better than 85% of the other officers in the sample. The findings of the central tendencies in analyzing this data presents opportunities in developing options to support test growth throughout the year in order to achieve higher test scores during the radar recertification in March of 2023. The standardized test offers the opportunity to measure the quality of professional, professional continuing education and presents many good metrics to gauge areas where improvement is needed. The analyzed data from this testing is a useful metric on the quality of an instructor's efficiency and the limited time given to them to conduct radar certification training and the effectiveness of the present curriculum. The score of this test is a good indicator of the need for continuing professional education beyond that of the two-hour annual recertification training. Either roll call training modules lasting 10 minutes or less should be sought out, or the training division should be tasked to create 10 10-minute radar training modules to be conducted at regular interval intervals throughout the year, avoiding the heavy vacation months and the traditional end of the November through beginning of January holiday season. This continuing education program should support test score improvements. The examination and analysis of the data presented from the test scores created a great opportunity to explore quantitative data related to the test scores. This data can then be used to develop options to support test growth during selected time intervals with the fiscal year, which is the calendar used for the training division for training cycles. The sample population for this exercise is over 35% of the sworn personnel of the Rose City Police Department, and it presents a great opportunity to generalize the findings to the whole department. A more qualified qualitative look into the data for this radar recertification test can be created for a better understanding on how shift work, seniority, and career focus, for example, traffic enforcement versus narcotic suppression, may affect officers, their ability to learn, and their ability to retain skills presented in recertification training. The Rose City Police Department should take a deeper look at the scores by examining different, more specific categories of officers and their scores.